She's been saving up to get out of her parents' basement. Eight years in, and Dana Palmieri saw the light. She was about to close on her first condo. So excited. It was, you know, everything was happening so fast. But two weeks before the move, this preschool teacher got an email that she thought was from her attorney, asking her to wire almost $11,000 for closing costs. That's when I was able to see the difference after I found out that these were fraudulent. The email had her lawyer's name, but not the correct email address. In the end, she lost her money and the condo in a real estate scam. How it works, people and businesses are being tricked. They're wiring their real estate funds, like down payments and closing costs, into scammers' accounts, and they never see it again. It's evil, and I, I don't like to think that there's evil in this world. A new report by the BBB shows just how bad it's gotten. Reports of real estate fraud attempts went up 1,100 percent between 2015 and 2017. 80 percent of businesses and other organizations have gotten one of these sorts of emails in the last year. And in 2017 alone, nearly $1 billion lost in fake real estate transactions.